Hey Zalipus, this is Super Zomaga Barbecue, and today we I've got two things to show you and quite a few things to discuss. But first things first, let me know what you thought of the Royal Rumble match because yeah, that was interesting. Thank you for anyone who turned up to the stream last night and enjoyed the Royal Rumble with me because oh my freaking god. The heat that Roman Reigns got, spoiler alert, when he entered at number 30. And I kind of thought that that was going to happen. Either AJ uh, or John Cena or whoever lost out of the both the World Championship matches would turn up in the Rumble. It's happened beforehand. At number 30, it was just an obvious troll. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought. And if you want to see my reactions to that and every other Royal Rumble entry... Go and check out the video that will pop up just up here, or you can click the link at the end of the video. Some of the reactions are, and I, I'm just looking back on them and thinking, priceless. Especially when we finally found out who the winner was, and that shock elimination between number 26 and 28, that was just like, really? But let's talk about the Royal Rumble match. If you like what you're about to see, please hit... The thumbs up button as hard as freaking possible. It'd be amazing if you could do that. And uh, thank you very much. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And let's get into it. Now, the first thing, it may be a bit hard for some of you because you might not be able to see it. The owner of this fantastic piece of kit, the WWE World Championship, the 16-time champ, the record equaler, finally the WWE World Champion, although... Yes, am I salty about the fact that AJ Styles lost it? Absolutely. Am I salty about the fact that WWE Champion John Cena is now equaled with Ric Flair? No, because he 100% deserves it. Guy has been carrying the company for years. And uh, you know what? I just, he deserves to get 20 plus plus title reigns. So you know what? I'm, I'm okay with John Cena winning it. What's going to happen to WrestleMania with a Royal Rumble winner? But uh, yeah, John Cena, the face that runs the place and now the champ that runs the camp. He finally can call himself that, is the Team Road to Glory card. And we've got Sasha Banks, who is the Summer Sam card. That's going to be helpful for a lot of people. She's one of the best females in Summer Sam tier. And also you've got Roman Reigns. Also a bit of controversy last night because uh, the club finally getting recognized for the amount of skill they have of now the Raw Tag Team Champions. And... What seems to be, and I, I'm going to just throw a prediction out there. Sheamus vs. Cesaro, WrestleMania 33, for the final match in their best of seven. Because they never actually finished it. And I think they're going to break up as a tag team and go on their own again afterwards. Uh, maybe potentially with Sheamus going after the, the uh, Universal. And hopefully Cesaro just going over to SmackDown. Because they don't seem to be able to do anything with the guy. But John Cena, champion runs the camp, face runs the pace, whatever you want to call him. Let me know if any of those cards make a pro for you in the comments section below and leave a like if they do. For me, it makes two pros. And I'm going to show you right now. Let's go to my combinable cards. Let's go to, there we go, ultimate tier. So, at the beginning of this weekend, I had zero additional pros to get. After this weekend, um, and I'll explain how I got all these, I have... One, two, three, four, and Nia Jax to get uh, leveled up and proed. So um, I got myself two John Cena's, one from a pack, one from a poll. I got myself a Natalia as well from a poll, uh, which is the last poll I got before they switched the Royal Rumble stuff back. I got Kevin Owens from a poll, and I got Samoa Joe from a pack. So um, I was very, very, very lucky. And when I pulled John Cena, I was thinking, oh, it's another single. And then, lo and behold, it's another pro. So, yeah, if you've got any most recent pros, King of the Ring awards or anything from this last weekend, let me know if you took advantage of the Royal Rumble picks as well. So let's move on to the other talking points. And the first talking point is the Undertaker event. Now, I know a lot of people are not particularly happy and you know what you can probably count me as one of them because and there's a lot that could be said about the Undertaker event and um, uh, maybe the truth hurts but I'm just gonna go out and start shooting from the hip and um, I thought that the card itself was beautiful the actual design itself was brilliant 
I'm very happy about the fact that the card was made available, that they're doing these limited edition events. However, what I'm not impressed with is the way that it was handled. And honestly, it felt like this was initially so well planned. After experiencing it, it just felt as if it was really rushed. Like, this wasn't planned at all and that there's something else was due. Maybe these cards were meant to be for a brand new tier. Maybe Mankind wasn't supposed to be an ultimate tier. Maybe something was supposed to come out for, uh, for Royal Rumble, but maybe wasn't able to make it. I don't know, but it just felt so rushed. Now, the bulletins aren't showing up, but I, what I can tell you is that when it did show, it said about getting the QR codes from Twitter. Now, if you've been camping out on Twitter for the last two or three days, then you will know just how frustrating it was to get one of these cards. Now, what I can tell you is I did get a surprise yesterday morning. Now, a lot of people on Twitter, some who are... Now, some of the more saltier variety of people seem to think that I get everything from WD Supercard and Cat Daddy, which is actually wrong. I, I don't. I have to get everything myself. I've never been given an exclusive card or an exclusive uh, treatment where another YouTuber has not been given the same thing. And I can tell you now that no one has got access to these Undertaker cards just purely because they were a content creator. So I had to do what all you guys had to do. I had to put it off the board, put it from packs, or do it from something similar. So I logged myself onto Twitter just before the stream went live, and this happened. Oh, people! Oh, how hype! In freaking sane. In case you haven't seen it already, I can definitely see this guy. Look at that! It's an Undertaker! Managed to get us off the Twitter uh, account. Don't do Supercard Twitter account. Oh my god! I got one! Who can I get? Another one? I need to get another one, it's got pro! It's real. It's real. I am so freaking happy. I got the Undertaker. The Undertaker's mine! Heads off! I named one of my settings in OBS after Dean Ambrose's plant, which I still have here, by the way. Mitch. There we go. There we go. There is the Undertaker! Oh yeah! Right. This guy's. I wasn't intentionally starting to rub it in your faces. Much. Let's get in. Just locked it in. It's there. Oh wow, that looks amazing. Kriegasms in the chat, please. What? That one's not too bad. In fact, I was, I was never a, uh, I was never a fan of the uh, the Survivor event. See, no, that's not bad either. No, contrary to what people say, no, I do not get things handed to me on a plate. I do have to work for them, uh, or alternatively, be very lucky, as the, as the case may be. I do feel that the event should have been run a hell of a lot better, and I have posted my thoughts on Twitter. I'm not going to re repeat myself too much but this is the same issue with supercar that we have many 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 times that we have with communication and preparation for an event the event felt like it was kind of glued together at the last minute as a replacement for something else it felt that the card was absolutely fantastic image it, yes it was a limited edition card and maybe there's an element of you know jb just get over it and you know what i'm happy about the image so I really am not complaining. I'm just saying that maybe for future limited edition events, especially with the timings of the tweets that were sent out as well, one of them was sent out like right in the middle of the NXT TakeOver main event. And I know that's not super cause for, but maybe be a bit more I don't know, considerate for other people's time. The, the timings of things just were just off. The communication just was non-existent. There's just a lot to learn from this event and there's nothing you can change now so there's no point looking back on it with anger or looking at it back with you know what if they did this because you can't change it. 
but what you can do is change what happens in the future. All I'm going to say is more QR codes, more ability to drop the card, so more people get their hands on at least a single and make the pro harder to get. My other suggestion, this is a big one, and I'm not saying it just for myself because I want to get the cards out to people, like the elite and hardened players, the summer sand players, the people who need those kind of cards. I personally believe that you should have YouTube content creators, wrestling personalities, Twitch streamers, be given these codes and I'm not concerned if it's me at all you know yes it'd be great but it could be anyone okay if you was to give those people some codes to give away to their followers I feel that the event would have come across a bit better and one last thing I want to mention about this is the Android users are getting massively screwed over by this QR codes and Android devices when you've got a limited amount of captures do not work and I'll explain why to go, I've got a Fire device, so I, I, I know people's pain on this one. If you've got an Android device and you use the QR codes, it actually lags as soon as you scan it in. It tries to go back into Supercard, and iPhone users, as soon as you, you scan the QR code, it bang, it shows up in your game straight away. It loads it immediately. That means that Android device users are immediately at a disadvantage so just something also to pick up on is maybe make it a little bit easier to get maybe make competitions and i've not understood this in the past where you've had giveaways and things like that why not have the ability to have individual supercar players individual supercar members be able to have stuff transferred to their account or be able to have it given to their account as uh, the support team. If you were one of the lucky ones, let me know in the comment section below. And if you got yourself the pro, let me know as well. And I'm going to actually show you what the pro looks like. There's a guy in a team which I uh, have was informed of over the weekend, which was uh, this guy called Alan. Very, very lucky guy. And congratulations to him. Who got himself the pro Undertaker card. And it does look beautiful. My only drawback from this is that the Undertaker card is so great and looks so good that it's such a disappointment that more people didn't get a chance to get themselves the pro card, which there's probably less than 25 or 50 cards in a game that are pro. Anyway, if you did manage to get yourself that Undertaker card, let me know in the comments section below. And congratulations to you. And I am so pumped I got it. I'm not going to lie to you. Moving on. I now want to talk about an amazing occurrence that happened in yesterday's stream. Where I got The Undertaker. Which was my first ever live PvP Royal Rumble games. And when I say first ever. I've had a couple against some guys who've had much lower cards. But not one against someone who's got the same kind of deck as me. And I, it was so, so much fun. I wanted to show you guys the highlights of it. Because I genuinely enjoyed it more than I've enjoyed most of the time playing Season 3. That's not to say that I didn't enjoy playing Season 3. But one of the biggest criticisms of Season 3 is that unfortunately the ranked modes aren't absolutely perfect. Most of the time when you're playing ranked modes you're playing, playing a bot. The network came through and I did end up playing two people. One person twice. Live. PvP gameplay. Sitting around all day, waiting for QR codes to appear. Not fun. This is fun as hell. And in my opinion, this is what WWE Supercard should be all about. Hopefully this happens more often, but enjoy. This is a live Royal Rumble game. This is the first live Royal Rumble game I have ever played. From the tactical into though, you, you realise how much longer it takes you to play the game because you're thinking, mm -hmm. this is the real person. This is the real thing. Boy. No, I must turn on my brain. For the first time in two and a half years <laughs> playing this game, <laughs> for the first I must time use my forever. brain. <laughs> the first I, need time my, I need to use my mad skills. Uh, You're absolutely wrong! Oh, no. Okay, am I actually going to win or not? No, he oh. broke! Whoa, <laughs> sucks to be you! <laughs> no, please let me power! Please let me power, please let me power, or charisma. Charisma! No, I lost again! Oh, actually, no. I might win. If I get a cheeky W here, this is great. Please. Toughness, charisma, or proc. Come on. No, it's a power. I didn't proc either. No! Oh, actually, I did proc. Yes, I won! Ha! <laughs> lost game! <laughs> yeah! Chris, GG dude, that's the first ever live Royal Rumble game I have ever done. And that's incredible. 
That's so much more fun. It'd be nice if you could invite people. Imagine that. That'd be streams would be even better if you could say like, right, for the next hour we're gonna play Royal Rumble or ranked, invites only, blah blah blah. Off you go. Stretch. We're actually playing each other. Does Samoa Joe just beat Stone Cold Steve Austin? Are you actually having a laugh? Thomas. Let's go, Ostrich. Ostrich sucks. Uh, amazing. Uh, that's that. That's oh wow. Am I actually gonna lose? Really? This is what supercards should be. I'm very disappointed in your actions. T don't you don't you dare say toughness. I did Goldberg against you, and you just did t toughness. I won't dare play because I've just got a full deck of right arrows. <laughs> Literally. So triggered. So triggered. Triggered. Charisma. Uh, take ya. Take ya. Uh, give it a Dino. Hey. Okay, right. Uh, power. Power, 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 power. Power, 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 power. Take her. Ooh, loss. I've got two choices. It's if you need power, it's gonna be charisma. Okay, fine. Aha! I've got you now. Only a prop can save you. Ha ha! Oh, actually, no. He's not leveled in speed. Watch this be speed. Watch this be speed, and I lose in speed. Charisma. Tactical game, my son. Tactical game. What can I say? PPP master. This is the background to this game. Beals a boss, but to the <laughs> I am complete. Ostrich is the demon. 100% confirmed. I get a song called Blah Blah Blah. Proc! Ha! Makamura beat you! He's stream sniping me. I'm 100% guaranteeing it. He's stream sniping me. Oh no, I actually got the prop. <laughs> I was like, fuck you! And it's like, oh no, I actually don't need to say fuck you. Oh wow, I didn't expect that. Brock just beat Goldberg. Ooh. With my dick. Brock just beat Goldberg with my dick. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's great. Okay, what do I go for? Tough decision. Oh, oh no, he's gonna beat me! Oh, Actually, no, he might not. It depends, he's got an event card at the end. Oh! He lost again! Ostrich! You failed! Today's just the winning! But that's it from me. Let me know what you thought about that fantastic Royal Rumble PvP in the comment section below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel using the little widget that's going to pop up just down here. And hit the description below for details to my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. And I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has been supporting the streams and the videos over the last few days. And the stream for the WWE Slam Crate as well. The giveaway for that was incredible. Thank you all for your support. And I'll see you all soon. One last thing. And that is to... Sweet!